In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for P3 minus. This is the phosphide ion, the phosphide anion. So before we do the P3 minus, let's look at phosphorus on the periodic table. You'll notice that phosphorus on the periodic table, this is a neutral element. We don't have a negative or a positive after it, it's neutral. And it has an atomic number of 15. That atomic number, that tells us the number of protons. So the atomic number for phosphorus is 15, and that means it has 15 protons. When we're comparing an ion like P3 minus to just P, phosphorus, neutral phosphorus, the only thing that's going to be different, and that's the number of electrons. So everything else is the same. So P3 minus, atomic number, it's 15. It's still phosphorus. And the number of protons, that's 15 as well. It's only the electrons that are going to be different. For a neutral element like P on the periodic table, phosphorus here, we're going to have the number of electrons and protons are the same. So protons equals electrons. We have 15 electrons. That makes sense. Positive protons, negative electrons, if they're the same, we'll have a neutral element. Think of it this way. For the P3 minus, that 3 means we have 3 extra negative charges. Electrons are negative, so we have three more electrons. So 15 plus 3, that gives us 18. So we have 18 electrons for the P3 minus ion. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, a negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons for P3 minus the phosphide anion. Thanks for watching.